I'm so excited to share this video today with one of my all-time biggest musical heroes, Jad Fair. What an incredible, incredible artist he is. I'm just so thrilled and fortunate to have been able to chat with him for a few minutes about uh, a couple different topics, including his numerous new albums on his Bandcamp page. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, this great album here, uh, Crazy Hearts from Half Japanese. This came out right at the end of last year, and it was certainly on one of my... Uh, uh, top lists for music from 2020. It's very joyful music, uh, really positive and uplifting. Uh, check this one out. We talked about um, uh, his art, uh, his uh, music on Joyful Noise Records, Fire Records, um, uh, some future projects, and lots more. So stay tuned. Check it out. Hi, Jad. This is Matt. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Well, Jad, this is uh, first of all, thank you so much for your time. I, I really appreciate you doing this uh, and and taking this call and um, talking to me about about your work. I really appreciate that. Uh, first of all, well, I'm I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, so I want to start right with uh, all these new. Um, Bandcamp albums, these are just incredible, and I just love them. Uh, it's really great, and and you've really churned out a number of them. Uh, so I was hoping you could tell me about um, that process. Uh, was it uh, work do done during the pandemic, uh, uh, or tell tell me about those? Uh, well, so some of the uh, older recordings that I, I just haven't done anything with them oh, until sure. now. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd say it's about half and half. Um, half of them are ones that I had had from a, a few years back, and uh, um, half of them are uh, new recordings that um, Got and, you. And, uh, when I started doing this, I, I was thinking, you know, can I do an album a, a week? Um, <laughs> and I thought oh, I probably can. And then I, I'm, I'm aiming for two albums a week. You know, which would wow. be a, yeah. which would be something, and I I think I can pretty well keep to that schedule for a <laughs> for a bit. Oh, that's great! Oh, I'm I'm so happy to hear that. I'm really happy to hear that. So, how long uh, does it take to to do uh, to do all of this? I mean, I, I guess you're uh, you know some of the older ones you might have been sitting on, but are you you have to master them or, or, or get them ready. So tell me about the process of getting these albums ready. I've been using uh, GarageBand, um, oh, which sure, is sure. A, a pretty simple thing to use. And I, I'm, I think the sound is I write with it. And I yeah. just use a, uh, I use a USB uh, microphone, which makes it mm -hmm. very easy to record at home. Um, and boy, I, I just work very fast. Um, right. Also, um, I, I don't get a lot of sleep at night, so that's oh. kind of a come a plus for uh, getting things done. <laughs> sure, sure. Is that is that when you're you're doing a lot of your work is during the night? Well, 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 I work during the day as well, but I'm sure, do get sure. quite a bit done during the night. Yeah, I got you. I was curious about your visual art. Are you still uh, finding time to do do paper cuttings and, and visual art during uh, during this time too? Well, y y yes, I've been. Boy, I usually do at least three or four uh, cuttings each day. Oh. Um, uh -huh. So I'm I'm keeping very busy with that as well. Oh, beautiful! Oh, that's fantastic. Tell me, do you miss uh, uh, the road life? Do you miss uh, the the shows and traveling and all that, or or have you adjusted pretty well to to the uh, kind of lockdown that we've been in for almost a year now? Well, my, my wife Patty and I have a, a, we have it pretty well because uh, we're out mm. in the country. And, we can right. get outside and uh, spend time with our uh, dogs and horses, um, yeah. so we're comfortable with that. But, but you know, I, I had a tour of uh, Japan, which had to be canceled, and I was yeah. so looking yeah. forward to that. And then there was going to be festival shows in uh, France, which right, right, <laughs> sounded very nice to me because it was 
right on the Riviera. Um, oh, wow. Which, uh, oh, and I've also had about four different art uh, exhibitions, which they tell me are going to be um, rescheduled. Um, oh, that's good. That's good. So, yeah. But yeah. I, I was looking forward to, you know, at least being there for the openings. Sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, were those were those uh, stateside or, or were those international as well, or some of both? Well, they well, both. Well, Bob is going to have the uh, exhibition in San Antonio, um, mm-hmm. which is being rescheduled, then one in Austin, and then there's going to be one in uh, Bremen, uh, Germany. Oh, nice. And one in, uh, let's see, maybe that's, oh, but the, the one in, in Tokyo, but that, that was, mm-hmm. at, at first it was, was um, they shut it down, but then they reopened it again when things got a little bit better with the uh, um, sure uh, virus. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, it's it's really nice to hear that that you're uh, still creating uh, creating a lot of work and and uh, really getting through. Uh, and then right at the end of last year, I think that you delivered uh, by far the most optimistic uh, message of all of 2020. You gave us uh, crazy hearts uh, with half Japanese. Um, tell me about that. Because I just love that. that. Was like so such a much needed uh, breath of positivity. I felt like uh, in such a rough year, you guys just really gave us some some great hope and and positivity with that album. Well, I, yeah, we were. I mean, that that was our our goal was was to yeah. have something positive, and and uh, I think it turned out real well. Um, we uh, had hope to. I'll get together in in a studio in in France uh, yeah. around the same time as the music festival, and that mm-hmm. just just was not workable for us. So a um, good bit of the work was done at um, home studios, uh, uh-huh. which is kind of it's not the way we usually work, but I I think it right. turned out very well. Yeah, oh, I, I absolutely love it, and, and the vinyl is is a beautiful color. Oh, it's just all great. Uh, do you all have plans to kind of tour that once it once that you're able to? Well, I'm ho- hoping so. Um, we all yeah. live in in uh, different uh, cities. Well, sure. um, also two of the members uh, are in different countries as well. Right. Because um, uh, Mick lives in London, and uh, Gio. Yeah. Uh, is in Switzerland. Um, he had a home in, in France, but now I think he's relocating to Switzerland. Um, and uh, Jason's in Baltimore, John's in Asheville, and I'm in Austin. Right, um, right. So it, it kind of takes a, uh, a music festival um, sure. to cover the transportation costs. It, it's all yeah, together. right. Right, absolutely, yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, and I thought, uh, speaking of festivals, I, I thought it was really great to see, uh, you know, even even with everything being closed, that Shakemore still lived on uh, virtually last year. That that was really a, a fun adaptation. I, I love that. Is it too soon to say uh, what will happen with Shakemore this year? I, I, I think it is a bit early. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully yeah. with the... Uh, the vaccines, um, right? It, it'll be possible for, for us to get together, uh, but yeah. I'm, I know that that we won't do it if there's any uh, um, any question about it. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, you know, even if I mean, if we had it, and even if just one person got sick right. from it, you yeah. know, boy, yeah. you know, I'd feel terrible. Sure. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, oh, that's it's great to hear. I, I see, I see festivals being scheduled, you know, with like almost no precautions, and it's really alarming. But it's so nice to hear hear someone like you uh, be very concerned about it. I, oh, it's really nice. Uh, okay, so tell me, uh, you know, you mentioned about uh, doing some more of these uh, albums um, for Bandcamp. Uh, so when do you think the next one will uh, drop? Well, I'm hoping um, I'll have it ready by Friday. Uh, I've got nice. um, four four songs um, so far um, mm-hmm. for it, and uh, I, I've been trying to have at least thirteen songs on each for each album. 
Sure. Um, so I, I I still have uh, like nine more songs to record, but I I think by mm. Friday I should be able to do that. That's wonderful. Oh, that's that's really awesome. That's just, I just love it. It's so great, so great. Well, it's uh, uh, I just yeah. Th- these are some some terrific albums, and it's just a lot of fun to listen to. Uh, is there any other uh, projects uh, uh, later in this year you could uh, preview us? Uh, any maybe like um, reissues or half Japanese things that are going to be coming out? Um, any any sneak previews perhaps? <laughs> Well, in uh, June, there's going to be a release of uh, songs recorded during the uh, half Japanese sessions of um, Charm Clive. Oh, um, which wow! Okay. Were, 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 were not not uh, released on the uh, on that album, but but they uh, are very di- different versions of um, some of the songs, and then uh, some of the songs that just. Uh, um, Weren't, weren't used at all, but you know, fine songs. Uh, it, it just because um, we try to uh, with vinyl, we we yeah are, are mindful of how much we can put on an album. Um, so um, you know, some of these songs are you know I'm very pleased with. Uh, oh, and God. for people that like the uh, half half. Japanese album Charmed Life. I, I think they're gonna mm-hmm. dig this. Oh, that's great! Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I really love that one for sure. Uh, last question for you: Where can um, all of the listeners and, and viewers uh, uh, keep up with uh, what's going on? We got the Bandcamp, uh, but uh, where else would uh, would you direct them uh, to see uh, to keep up to date with uh, all the work you're doing? Uh, well, the uh, uh, website for Fire Records and mm-hmm. the website for Joyful Noise uh, Recordings. Because sure. um, I, I try to keep things up with that. Um, yeah. And I'm also with Facebook, I um, try sure. to post something each day. Um, yeah. Either some music or some art. Um, so. And you you occasionally have some uh, 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 art that comes up for sale, right? Um, I do. I, I actually have, I have about 20 different websites for art. Oh, great, um, great, great. So, awesome. yeah. yeah. Well, with uh, now, now with the um, publishing on demand, it's so yeah. easy to to do books and, and uh, T-shirt designs and uh, sure, bags sure. and, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, and coffee mugs and, you know, whatever. Um, right, which right. makes it very easy, and uh, uh, I, right. I, I think what, the uh, printing quality is is uh, very good as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Which uh, site did you have have those on? Uh, have like the shirts? Uh, wh- which one was that? Was that uh, with? Um, well, I, I have know. quite a few, uh, quite a few uh-huh. with uh, Amazon and mm-hmm. with uh, Zazzle and uh, oh, Society. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm planning to do more with uh, um, a couple other companies. Um, great. Oh, and, great. You know, and, and until I actually have things up, I don't want to uh, mention sure, sure. that. Yeah, sure, no problem, no problem. Uh, speaking of joyful noise, it was really a treat to hear your uh, uh, track on the. Um, uh, compilation they did uh, during the summer with the um, uh, uh, safety and sound uh, uh, compilation. Oh, I'm, I'm that glad that you was, like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, that was oh, that was great. That was great. Yeah, absolutely. That well, that whole thing was just like uh, that. That whole compilation they they really put a lot of of work into that. That was it was really nice. Your track was great and and just like um, I think they had some like. Uh, one-off uh, collaborations with people. So that was really a fun uh, uh, set from everybody. And I was thrilled to see you well, in there for sure. So such fine uh, record company. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, not not just musically, but they they are have a very um, artistic um, site in, in, in mind. And, and, right. Uh, so it's, it's not like, you know, just putting out music. It's music and art. 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They and have a very you'll find position. people as well. Right, yeah. right. Oh, and and you were, for example, in the um, the holiday party uh, that they did. Um, you know, you you've oh, been yeah. in that I think every year. Uh, and I always look, look forward to to that because there again, it's another uh, production, very well done with everybody involved. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and well, and that's it's uh-huh. good, good that they also have that um, as a uh, charity donations. Um, right. Oh yeah, that, that was that. beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a, a, a um, lathe cut vinyl record of you or, or the other artists, and then that uh, goes to charity. Yeah, it's it's really nice a nice thing that they do every year. Absolutely. Well, that's actually all the questions I have for you. Um, I really appreciate it, and I just again really love all of the new work coming out, and I can't wait. It's every time I get a notification, I, I immediately turn it on. It's it's really a, brings a lot of uh, <laughs> okay, okay. a lot of happiness to me. <laughs> okay, well, oh, very good. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, thank you. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Bye bye. <laughs> See you later. Bye.